previously on Resident Evil Revelations. <laughs> Approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Rendezvous at the ship's hall. Everything about the Queen Zenobia and the secret she keeps. What secrets? <laughs> Jessica, why did you fire? Raymond? Why? Why play the part of Veltro? What do you mean? Find the truth about Terra Grecia. So this is the secret of Zenobia. Hello folks, I'm OwnSpac33, and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations. We're now at Episode 9, No Exit. Well, well, well. So what the hell did you do? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. Hmm. Ah. Don't tell me the battery's dead. Oh, this blows. The upside is this whole conspiracy is becoming clearer. We have to get back to the airport on the double. Hey, man, so hold up. Nobody's home. Even the other team's packed it in. So what are we doing here? <laughs> it's okay. I set up a back door. I can use any PDA to get us in. Well, why didn't you say that earlier? If my theory is correct, then the truth about Valtra was really... too early to say. Are you kidding me? I don't want to jump to conclusions. I need more intel. Say words? Yeah, I think I do. There's an area we haven't explored over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My whatever. only hope is that it has a high-powered CPU. That would be tits. It's kind of a shame we don't get to play as Quint in this chapter, just because he's really fun to use in raid mode. So it's I don't know. Like we already used Keith, so it'd be kind of cool if we got to use him. I like I like Keith's knives. That's always cool. But yeah, it'd be really cool if we could play as him. But. You don't get to, so that's just what happens. Oh yeah, there's still enemies in here. Yeah. And we got the, uh... We're using the assault rifle that uh, Chris has, the G30s. What is it, the G36C? Is that what it is? Oh, maybe just G36. It's the one we got in the last part. Alright. So we already scanned this room for all of its stuff. So if you missed this earlier, there was a handprint, I believe, in here. Uh, you can get it now, just in case you forget it. And anyway, we have some machine gun ammo in there, nothing there. Let's reload our gun. It's already reloaded. Where's that hidden item? There it is. Yeah, so we're already in here, so not really a big deal. More machine gun ammo, sick. Yeah, so we got all the weapons that Chris had. He just has the same ones. I guess this is standard, I don't know, BSAA. Equipment? I don't know. I, that would make sense, actually. If they're all using the same weapons. That's usually how it works, right? Like in militaries and stuff like that. People usually use the same stuff. I don't claim to be an expert at all. 
But anyway, here's a brand new area we haven't been in. Uh, it's just full of goodies here. There's two rocket launchers there. Um, there's a rifle right here. I believe that's the MA. Is that the MA? Yeah, MA-0A1. Yeah, so G36 is what we're using. So rifle ammo. There's a herb there. We'll pick that up. So if you haven't guessed already, there's all this stuff lying around. There's a big square room. I don't think I really have to explain what's going on here. Okay, there's a hidden item here somewhere. You take the gadgets like a fly to horse shit. It's just a computer. Okay, down a brass tax. Okay. Let's just pick up everything and anything we can find. Nothing's happening. What did you do, Quinn? It's not me. I need more power. The MP28 is a real gas guzzler. There's got to be a generator around here. I need it. Okay. You stay here and spend quality time with your girlfriend. Alright, so before we start with the power generator, we're gonna loot the room for all of its goodies because uh, it's better to do this now than later. Let's say that much. You can, I think you can hop across here. Yeah. This is a really cool, like, arena style room. I don't know. I, I, I like it. It's cool. <laughs> Why there's an awesome computer just there, I don't know, but there is. Uh, there's also some more weapons right here. There's a magnum, and with every ma. With every, uh, okay, there's Magnum Ammo, and then there's the Python. So, sick. We'll leave the handgun there for now. Um, because we don't really need it. We got a Magnum. Screw the handgun. <laughs> well, we can talk to Gwen here. There's gotta be a say? generator around here. I need it. Okay. Some decoys here. Let's pick them up. Anything else we can pick up? Lots of, lots and lots of goodies. There's another herb there. Some explosive barrels right here. Can't pick up any more herbs, so that's good. Oh, and there's something in the trash here. How'd I miss that? Oh, another herb. Okay, that's good. So yeah, every weapon type is here because of the weapons we had, too. And two rocket launchers. With that out of the way, let's turn on the power, which I think you gotta hit this one right here. Here we go. I hope this rusty piece of crap works. I think there's two of them. I think you gotta hit both There's not enough power to fully charge the MB-28. Are there any other generators? Like, you can see it from where you are. Like, are you dumb? <laughs> there you go. There's just dumb power. This is a super computer. Needs all of this... All this power, all right, I guess. Power. I don't know if this is a real computer. Analysis. Anyway. Guess what? So we might have to, uh... I'll just let them the talk and reveal story. But that should only take a few minutes with me and my baby MB-28. Oh yeah, you hear that, eh? That's right, we got some wolves. Zombie dogs! Just shoot them right around the computer, not a big deal at all, right? Uh, for these guys, I like taking the shotgun to them. Uh, shotgun's just really effective against these guys, because they try rushing at you. There we go. The wolves just aren't too big of a deal to really worry about using... You only got 18 bullets with the Magnum, so use those wisely. Uh, this part here might actually be, like, the hardest part of this game. Honest, because there's no weapon upgrades, you just gotta go with what you get, and what they give you in here. And I might accidentally shoot that, yeah. I should've switched to a different gun. I'm somehow dodging without even noticing. Okay, we don't want to accidentally shoot these explosive barrels, we want to save them for bigger enemies, because these wolves aren't the only enemies we're gonna be seeing here. Exhibit A, there's hunters here. Oh yeah. You didn't think they were going anywhere, did you? I should probably be scanning stuff too. Whoa, what happened? Oh, one of the generators decided to shut off. Just cuz, I guess. Alright, we need help. What now? Okay, that might Dang it. Okay, he's shooting guys now. Oh, the other one got shot off? I thought it was that one. Okay, we need to switch to a decoy, and we need to throw said decoy. And shoot this guy. 
Excellent time for me to utilize these. But of course, no one wants to stay around these barrels because that'd be too easy. I hope I killed something there. Yeah! Yeah, this part really sucks. I just, it's so natural for me to reload, but I shouldn't be reloading with the Magnum, because it has tons of, uh, like, reload time on it. It looks sick, but it takes a long time to reload. There's another Hunter up here. I guess we're done with, uh, oh, fudge, Invisible Hunters. Where is it? Dang it! Did I get him? Oh, I got that wolf. The invisible hunters are also stronger than the regular hunters, by the way, too. They look different. They are much tougher. Um, it looks like they're gonna take two magnum. Two. Okay, I'm just killing them. Wait. This would be a good time to pick up one of those, um, rocket launchers right now. I'll probably use it. There we go. Let's blow them away. You know what? Let's pick up another one. Turn around. Oh, there we go. Toasted. Oh, I just took out three of them. Kill some for you. And that TV <laughs> in the bottle until I come back. All right, so we got all the data download. We just got to. Uh... Oh, I guess I killed all of them. Hold your horses. I'll be oh, there I want my magnum second. back. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, I still have it. Okay. All right, well, that's pretty good. I even have to use the rifle, so that's pretty awesome. That explains it. Explains what? Who's behind Veltro? Yeah, probably. There's only one way to find out. Let's ask him ourselves. Uh, this is Forkball. O'Brien here. Huh? What the hell? O'Brien's our man? Director O'Brien. I think I put it all together. Veltro was never back in action. It was all smoke and mirrors, orchestrated by yourself. Your own little Veltro production. All to get into the head of one certain somebody. Ah, uh, you pretty much got it. I'm glad I'm not paying you for nothing. I analyzed his log, sir, and there's something you may want to see. Then let me see it. Yes, sir. I'll send it immediately. What's going on? Connection error? Oh, we've been detected! Oh. Hey, what? Two boys, uncovering secrets, wanted dead or alive, just like a falcon in a snowman! You wanna die with your machines, idiot? Dude, hold up! I'm on!
master. Okay, so I was saying that was the hardest chapter, but I did deal with it pretty easily. On Infernal difficulty, that would be a lot harder. You'd have to make more use of all the weapons they give you. Like, I didn't have to really throw any grenades. I threw, like, one, one decoy. I used both the rocket launchers, because why not? You might as well shoot them. Quinn and Keith look like they've met an unfortunate end. But, until next time, I've been OwnSpec33, and I'll catch you for Episode 9, Chapter 2. Till then, bye bye